Hey everybody, it's Spencer from Switch Captain, and today I want to talk to you about Gatoron Pros. Gatoron Pros are a relatively new addition to the Gatoron line of switches, and what they bring to the table is a little bit of a retooled switch with some quality of life improvements over, uh, let's call them Gatoron Classics or regular Gatorons for the purpose of our discussion. So today we're going to focus uh, mainly on Gatoron Brown Pros and how they differ from regular Gatoron Browns. But we also over here, of course, have Gatoron Reds versus Gatoron Red Pros. And to be completely honest and transparent and a little bit of a shameless shill, the reason that we're featuring these is because these are the kinds that we sell at the moment at switchcaptain.com. So if you're interested in trying these, um, or just want to make me happy. After you watch the video, please go down to the description and follow the link to switchcaptain.com and you can purchase either the Gatoron Pro Browns or Pro Reds. Okay, so before we get started, um, there's one really easy way to tell if you have a regular Gatoron or a Pro Gatoron. It's not the bottom casing color you know, here we're including a uh, sort of dark black casing color uh, versus a little bit of a white one with a little bit of a transparent-ish top on both of them. But that's really just so that you can tell them easily apart. The truth is that regular Gatorons come in a whole variety of different bottom casings. You know, some are more transparent or milky or what have you than others to allow RGB lights to shine through. Um, some have more of this kind of classic black bottom casing as well. Uh, but that's really not the way that you're going to tell a regular from a pro. The way that you will do it is when these switches are facing towards you, with the pins on the bottom away from you, uh, you'll look at the word mark, and you can't really see it here, unfortunately, but you'll have to trust me, and you'll look at the word mark, and what you'll notice is that on a regular switch facing this way, Gatoron is written, you know, right side up, and you can read it plainly, it's facing the right way. On pros, it's actually flipped, and if you're looking at it this way, that we are, Gatoron will look like it's upside down. Okay, so we're gonna go through a teardown and we're gonna go over a couple of the differences uh, between the regulars, which are over here, and the pros, which are over here. So the first thing that you're going to notice when you get your hands on these is that they tend to wobble a lot less than regular Gatorons do. That's because they have a new mold that's much tighter around the stem and really strongly reduces wobble and it makes for a more consistent experience and a less scratchy experience. So if you go and you look at the reds over here and on a regular one, you know, it's pretty easy to get these to move uh, pretty significantly. And that's gonna, like I said, cause that scratchiness and wobble as you go down. Whereas here on a pro, it really takes a lot of effort to even really get it to move. Um, there's just very, very little wobbliness compared to the classic ones. And that really is because um, of that tighter mold on the top. And it's honestly probably one of the best and biggest advantages of the pros over the regulars. And one of the things that makes them a much nicer experience. That again, you can see here on the regular, Right? And you see, you know, there's a little bit of room. It's not quite uniform necessarily over there. Whereas on the Pro, it really is just nice um, and, you know, very easy to see that it's a tighter mold. Okay, the next thing that I do want to point out is that the springs are going to be exactly the same, no matter which model you get. This is still a brown switch, right? So it still is going to have the same amount of force that you have to use. It's still going to have the same general tactility and feel. It's just going to be a little smoother and nicer and more consistent. Um, but the spring has nothing to do with that. They're going to be the same in either cases. Uh, the next thing that I will note is over here, you can see the leaf on these um, old ones. It's kind of 
you know, thin. It kind of goes back and forth very easily. Uh, the new Pros, they actually have a much nicer, uh, thicker leaf, and it's just a little more stable there. And again, that helps with consistency uh, in particular, as well as with the sound a bit. But the real star of the show here is the fact that traditionally regular Gatorons, they come to you completely unlubed. So a lot of people will buy Gatorons and they will open each switch up like we have done here. They'll take a little brush and they will lube um, the stem and then they will put them back together. It's a great activity to do, it takes up an afternoon. Um, I've done it plenty of times with multiple different types of switches. But the truth is that sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes you really want something that sounds really nice uh, and is just great and smooth and consistent outside um, of doing that kind of whole method and right out of the box. And that's where these really shine. You can't necessarily really see it here, but you can kind of see how it's a little slippery there. It's because the stems are pre-lubed um, and they're pre-lubed with lube over there and on the boxes on the side. And it really results in kind of a much smoother and consistent um, click or tap, I should say, or press even than uh, the regular ones do, which are just sort of a little more scratchy. And it's one of those things where honestly, if you hadn't tried the Pro, you generally think that the browns or the reds or whatever were just totally fine in these cases. And they are, but just the pros are really just this evolution for these switches. And it's really, really noticeable on the basic switches, right? You know, yellows and blacks, for example, they already have a lot going for them because they're already sort of retooled in such a way to make them different than kind of what you would expect in getting at something. Whereas this is really an evolution for people who want a classic brown switch or want a classic red switch, but just want it to be a little bit better. All right, so thanks so much, guys. Uh, there are links to typing tests for both the reds and the browns in the bottom of this video, depending on the version that you're watching, or you may see them happen right afterwards. So until next time again, this is Spencer from SwitchCaptain.com, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.